Hi, I'm Professor Scott Norman. I teach automotive mobile fuels at Pittsburgh State University, and I got myself a new, a newer to me, 2013 uh, Chevy Suburban. And when I popped open the fuel cap, I noticed it has, hey, a yellow E85 uh, fuel cap. And so a, a nice activity that I do with my students, and anybody could do this, is that we could use this as an example of doing some math for some students and let me explain to you a little bit about what we do in the class. And this is a, a question that I'll, 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 I'll ask my students a lot. And so we're talking about E85 today. And, we're, and on this vehicle, it's a flex fuel vehicle. So we can either run gasoline or we can run E85. So when I go to the pump, I see that E85 is $1.85 a gallon. And my regular gasoline is $2 a gallon, and 87 octane. And if I'm gonna to go to mid-grade, it's uh, 220 a gallon. And when I wanna to go to premium, it's 250 a gallon. And so if I have a choice, you know, this, this vehicle requires only 87 octane. So when I look at the price, it looks like, hey, E85 is the better deal. And so I should put E85 in my vehicle, right? And so I'll ask my students, hey, can you determine what the uh, gasoline gallon equivalent is of E85 to determine if that's really a better deal or not. Or the question is, is should I run E85 on a daily basis or should I run regular gasoline on a daily basis with this price range? What's the most cost effective thing I should do for, for a cost? So in order to understand this or, 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 or to be able to figure out this particular uh, question, which probably every single owner has as they're going to a, a fuel station because there's literally millions of E85 vehicles, flex fuel vehicles on the road today, is that you have to understand that regular gasoline that you get is probably about 10% uh, alcohol in it. So when you start looking at the amount of energy it has per gallon, it has 114,300 BTUs, British thermal units, per gallon, which is quite a lot. Okay. When you start looking at E85, which is 85% ethanol, 15%, probably E10 is probably what it is, it has around about 88,000 BTUs per gallon. So when you look at this right away, you notice it's a lot less amount is what it is. In fact, it's about 75% um, uh, as much. And so um, what you could do is it kind of quick math, if you figure out the ratio is 75%, you know that if gasoline is $1 a gallon, for example, if E85, 75% of that, which would be 75 cents, if it's 75 cents or lower, it's a pretty good deal, right? If gasoline is $2 a gallon, well, then I would have to go to $1.50 or less in order for it to be a good deal. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, that's correct. If, I, if, if gasoline goes to $3 a gallon, which we hope it never goes to $3 a gallon again, right? Uh, if, if that's the case, it would have to be at $2.25 a gallon, E85, in order for it to be a good deal. And so you can kind of, at the pump, you can kind of figure it out really quick if you needed to, to, in order to determine, hey, if that's a good deal or not. Now, if you really want to get a little bit more detailed, let's say, for this, for an example, I could tell right away, that two dollars a gallon, a dollar eighty-five is above my seventy-five percent of a dollar fifty, so it's definitely not a good deal. Okay, but what if your car requires eighty-nine octane and it's a flex fuel vehicle? Would this still be a good deal? Well, that's a little bit harder to try to figure out on that. And so, and then the question gets into, well, what if you need ninety-one octane? Is that a good deal? And so, and so, a way to calculate this is that if you take your your amount of BTUs per gallon you have on your gasoline, which is 114,000, you could divide that into your amount of BTUs you have, which is 88,000 uh, BTUs, and that comes up with 75% or a ratio of 1.3. So I take my price of my E85 and multiply it by my ratio, and that comes up with my E85, which is now gasoline gallons equivalently. We are, we are calculating not only the price, but the amount of efficiency it has in it. And so in order for E85 to, 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 to be worthwhile, it's actually costing me $2.40 per gallon. Even though it says this on the price pump, it's less efficient. I'm going to get less range. As an example, 
on one window sticker I, I looked up, uh, it, it was a flex fuel vehicle, and if you ran gasoline, it said that you would get 353 miles typically on a full tank of fuel. But if you put it with E85 in it and fill it up, you're only, you're only going to get a range of 260 miles on a tank of fuel, which is, if you do the math, it's about 73.7%. So, you know, we say it's around, give or take, 75%, depending upon what type of gasoline you're putting in. You know, how much alcohol does it really have in it? Is it heavy gasoline? Is it light gasoline? Summer blend? Is it winter blend? There's a lot of different factors in there right now. So the key is, is that you want to figure out your gasoline gather equivalently. So under this scenario, well, it's not a good deal if I'm putting 89 in it. But if my car requires 91 octane, 91 octane, and it's a flex fuel vehicle, if I go with E85, I can actually save a little bit of money. Because E85 has an octane, oh, maybe it's 98, uh, maybe it's 100 octane, depending upon, again, the, the amount of gasoline it has in it. But it has very, very high octane. So it's a very good alternative. And so this is a very uh, fun thing you can do with your students in order to use a little bit of math, a, a little bit of problem solving skills as far as a real life scenario to be able to save money. This is Scott Norman uh, from Pittsburgh State University. Thank you very much. You guys have a good day.